Hello everyone and welcome to the Fry Smiles Oral Health Network. I am your host Scott Fry and we are continuing on with our series of posts on tea and tooth staining. Today we're going to be talking specifically about how extraction times and temperatures, which is just fancy terminology for brewing times and temperatures, how this impacts tooth staining from tea. Now this may be pretty apparent to many of you out there, but the hotter the water you use to brew your tea and the longer you brew it for, the more polyphenols are going to be released and the higher the staining capacity that particular cup of tea will have. Now, depending on what type of tea leaves you're brewing, temperatures and times can vary, but typically you're brewing that cup of tea or a pot of tea for about three minutes. But say for instance you wanted to brew a cup of tea for five minutes and happened to leave it in for 10 minutes. You'd be increasing the number of staining molecules in that pot or cup of tea by 30 to 40 percent, which is quite a fair amount. Now black teas tend to have longer brewing times and hotter brewing temperatures, which might explain why these particular types of teas can cause more tooth staining. Also, if you're someone who likes to leave the tea bag in while you're enjoying your tea, you might also uh, tend to experience more tooth staining as well, so watch out for that. The bottom line is that if you drink a lot of tea and you're concerned about staining, you want to go ahead and make sure that you don't let your tea steep or brew for any longer than that's recommended and choose a particular type of tea leaf that has a shorter brewing time and a cooler brewing temperature. So I hope that's helpful for everyone. I'll see you next week when we're talking more about tea and tooth staining.